Hello and welcome to Free Flow Wednesday with Helen. Thank you for joining us at The Crafty Maven or at my channel, wherever you may be watching this. It was definitely Free Flow Wednesday for me because I got so involved in what I was doing that I forgot to check our mood board for this month. And I'm kind of hoping that seeing as it is February, the month of love and Valentine's Day, that there is some pink on our mood board and I can tie it in that way. It's actually quite unusual that I'm doing a pink layout. Usually, blues, greens, teals, they're the colours I choose. But seeing as this photo has got such beautiful cherry blossoms in it, well, I think they're cherry blossoms. I'm not really much of a gardener. But the colour in it and the pink of my jacket inspired me to use a lot of pink this month. Due to Chris's and my position in the photo and the way we're standing, I wanted that the photo to be positioned in the bottom left hand corner of the page. And then I had this, or, or, well, I envisaged the cherry blossoms flying out of the photo through up into the right hand corner of the page. So I wanted to achieve this by stenciling. I used some snowflake paste from Prima mainly because it's got that bit of sparkle in and I wanted that to you know enhance the page. And then I thought all right let's use some pinks to do some packaging technique and I started out by using sprays. Doesn't look like it does it but that's because the first background I actually ripped it up and threw it in the bin because I wasn't very happy with it. It just looked like a big hot pink mess when I was finished. So I started it again. This time I used Distress Ink and I got a much softer muter pink which is what I was after. I did contemplate using some Distress Oxide ink but the colour, yes this one right here, the colour wasn't the right shade of pink so I changed that mind my mind and pulled out some Lindy Stamp Gang sprays and just did some splatters around the place. You saw earlier that I also matted the photos with quite a few different pink pieces of paper and they come from two page Evans collection. One, Turn the Page and the other one, Oh My Heart. And no, it's not just because those papers were on my desk. I mean, that kind of has an effect which one, what papers I use on whether it's easy to get hot, my hands on it or not, but the pinks in the, those two ranges, I felt complemented my photo really well. So a few layers, some fun foam to give it some added dimension, and here you can see I spent some time, and thankfully for you off camera, fussy cutting these flowers from one of the patterned papers from one of those two ranges I've mentioned I can't remember which one. We also can might have noticed that I put some thread behind the photos it's another one of my favorite techniques at the moment in actual fact this whole page incorporates most of my favorite trusted techniques the ones that I go back to over and over again. Anyway to the layout Helen. I've pulled out some pieces from one of the embellishment kits and I'm just going through finding all the pink things seeing what can work. I had that idea of putting the frame on the photo just to draw your attention to Chris and I but I didn't really like it so I decided to add a little bit of a um, cluster up in the top left hand corner but by the time I finished the layout, it just had what I call the sneeze effect on it, where it just looked like everything was just chucked on and it was too wide, all of wide, that's a very good term, isn't it? But I don't know, I, I didn't, it wasn't balanced enough for me, I suppose. You'll see I fix it up at the end, although I did forget to record that part. Anyway. In the chipboard stickers from one of the packs, it said, love your laugh, 
well, it wasn't quite right, but I lo I got stuck in my head this, love your style, Mrs. Russell, just the way we were mucking around under the tree. So I incorporated some cocoa vanilla, love always letter stickers, and did some journaling. And then I just decided that I wanted a pop of that bright pink to the right hand side as well. So I trimmed off a little bit off the left hand side and added that pop of pink to the right hand side to help bring your eye across. And I also am going to pull out some enamel dots and add them on. And once again, it was just a little bit like the sneeze effect too much. So I do pull some off and just streamline it a little bit. I do hope the lighting is okay in this video today. I'm currently getting my house ready to put on the market to sell and so I've had to move rooms with my scrapbooking and so I'm trying to gauge the best time of the day to record to get a good lighting and seeing as I marked up my first background I've had to do this a bit later in the evening than I planned. So hopefully there's not too many shadows in here for you. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. And until next time, have a great time scrapbooking and take care. See you later. Bye.